Recently, I found myself utterly stunned by something I witnessed, and at that very moment, I fell head over heels for my mother-in-law. It happened on the morning of January 1st after celebrating the new year. As I woke up, still groggy, I began gathering the mess I had scattered the night before. My father-in-law was chatting with the neighbors outside, their loud conversation echoing through the yard. My sleepy wife, clearly annoyed by the commotion, sent me to the living room to retrieve my sweater, which she claimed was preventing her from getting any rest. Entering the room, I headed toward the sofa where my sweater was lying. As I bent down to pick it up, passing between the table and the armchair, I froze in my tracks. There she was, my mother-in-law, lying on her back, her upper body covered by a blanket. Despite her age, she looked absolutely stunning. For a moment, I couldn't move. Her beauty caught me completely off guard. Stepping back in shock, I accidentally bumped into a chair, waking her up. She pulled the blanket off her face, looked at me, and said with a teasing smile, You just can't move around quietly, can you? Then, without noticing it wasn't her husband, she pulled the blanket back over her head and dozed off again. Flustered, I grabbed my sweater, threw on my jacket, and joined my father-in-law outside, answering his questions with absent-minded nods. That image of her stayed with me the entire day and haunted my thoughts well into the evening. We had been married only a few months and until that moment, I had never thought of my mother-in-law in such a way. But now, I couldn't get her out of my head. That spring, she invited my wife and me over to help with some chores while her husband was away on a business trip. My wife couldn't come because of work, so I went alone. I chopped firewood for the sauna, fixed a couple of shelves, and took care of some small repairs around the house. In return, my mother-in-law treated me to homemade wine. We sat on the veranda, sipping that rich, velvety drink, chatting casually. She looked so radiant, so captivating, that I couldn't help but steal glances at her. She noticed my lingering gaze and, smiling mischievously, asked, What's the matter? Admiring your mother-in-law, are you? There's still something to look at, isn't there? Oh, absolutely, I replied. You're an enchanting woman. Her face lit up with delight, her eyes sparkling, and her mood seemed to soar. By the time we opened the second bottle, the conversation took a more personal turn. She began reminiscing about her past, sharing stories of her success with men. Emboldened by the wine, I blurted out a bold question. Have you ever been unfaithful to your husband? Be honest, I won't tell anyone. Her answer floored me. If I'm being honest, yes, and more than once. Why are you so curious? I hesitated for a moment, then confessed. I've been thinking about you for a long time, but never had the courage to say it. Talking to you now, with this wine, I feel like I can finally speak my mind. She smiled knowingly and said, Well, I've been curious about you too. Let's see what makes my daughter hold on to you so tightly. What happened next was inevitable. In that moment of drunken temptation, we crossed a line. She led me inside, and we gave in to the tension that had been building between us. It wasn't the last time, either. Surprisingly, everything seemed to work out fine. My relationship with my wife remained strong, while my mother-in-law and I carried on our little secret. Looking back, I never imagined things would turn out this way. But somehow they did. And I couldn't be more amazed.